Well, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to handle bank deposit with or without bank fee. So let's get started. So I'm going to go to uh, QuickBooks mobile app. Okay, I'm on QuickBooks dashboard. At the bottom, you see plus sign, and there's a bank deposit in there. So this is the one I'm talking about. I'm going to go through various scenarios. As you can see here, you have one is add amount, the other one is select existing payments. I'm going to show you both. Okay, so let's start with scenario one. I'm going to go to bank feed. I'm going to tap new transactions. I have eight left here. Okay, so first one I have is uh, BZ Enterprises. It's a customer and uh, they paid $8,000, but the uh, Actual invoice amount was different, totally different. They just made a partial payment. I'm going to go to customers. As you can see here, the, uh, uh, the invoice amount was $16,000. They just paid half of that. Okay, so, uh, so I'm going to go to payment and receive uh, $8,000 because. Uh, uh, there's no match sign if you're just using bank fee. There's no match sign here. You don't want to add. So there's no, you know, match sign. You want to see the match sign there. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start from home page. Okay, at the bottom, you, you know, you, you see the same thing. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to receive payment on that uh, invoice. The customer is BJ Enterprises. And you see you have uh, uh, it's a 16,000 invoice. They just pay $8,000. Okay, so receive payment. You have to do this manually. Okay, and the payment date, in this case, let's say uh, bank deposit one is March 8. And let's say this one they paid by uh, check. And the check number, I'm just going to write something in here. Okay, done. Okay, so it's done. So this is a partial payment. Partial. Partial payment. Okay. Partial payment. Okay, done. I'm going to save this. Okay, so you have received payment, $8,000. Balance due, also 8000 Okay, so plus sign and bank deposit. Select existing payments. You will see this $8,000 received payment. And if you are depositing uh, with a few other checks, then you have to select all to match with the uh, bank deposit amount. All right, I'm going to select this. And okay, so the uh, deposit date is March 8. And in here, if you want, you can uh, write down partial payment again. Partial payment. payment. Okay, so done. All right, so you have received $8,000. And I'm just going to save this. So this one is by tapping select existing payments because when you see the payment, it went to undeposited funds like a clearing account. I'm just going to save this. Okay, so now I'm going to go to uh, bank feed again and see what happens. Okay, so there's the mass here. In this case, this one here, deposit this one okay so I'm just gonna match this accept it it since she it, it was a half and half it was showing a split if it was a different amount then you won't see it that way okay so that one is done accept it and now let's see another scenario in here uh, you receive 7000 from Chris Smith. Okay. Certain transactions you have to do it from your browser, by the way. 
this one, this uh, mobile app can handle all kinds of transactions. It can handle certain transactions only. Okay, so uh, in this case, uh, Chris Smith, uh, like for example, the other one, uh, they paid uh, eight thousand and invoice was nine thousand, and the customer disputed uh, uh, for one thousand dollars or whatever. At that point, you have to create uh, create a memo that you can do it. You you do it from the browser. The mobile app can't create uh, create memo. Okay, so Chris Smith seven thousand, and let's see how much was the invoice amount. The invoice amount was seventy fifty. Okay, so invoice one seven fifty, and uh, uh, you know, at, let's say in this case, uh, customer did pay seventy fifty full amount, and then the bank took out fifty dollars for their bank fee. All right, so that's the scenario on this one. Okay, so I'm going to go to plus sign. Oops, that one. Home page again. I'm start from home page. Home page. Okay, so payment. And customer is Christmas. All right, there's one outstanding invoice, 1056. They paid full amount. Only the bank took out fifty, took out fifty dollars and deposited seven thousand. Uh, so you have to show customer full payment. And let's say the deposit date is on seventh on this one. And measure in this case, let's say still the uh, wire. Let's say this is a wire transfer one. And if you don't have the payment measure as wire or something like that. That one you have to do it uh, from your browser. You can easily add method payment, not from here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to select wire and uh, uh, reference. You can type something, you know, wire transfer or something. Okay, all right. So it's the uh, invoice payment is seventy fifty. All right, so seventy fifty, and so the now you clear customer remaining balance. Remaining balance in customer invoice is zero. Okay. And this one, this payment right now, it goes to uh, undeposited funds amount. Okay. So from dashboard again, type bank deposit. So at this point, if you st still go to your bank feed, it won't match because the deposit was. Uh, uh, seven seven thousand, right? So I want to make sure or to mask that one. Okay, so I'm gonna go to home page again, plus sign bank deposit. So at this point, you want to select that seven thousand seventy fifty. Okay, select that one, and then you have to add amount for the fifty dollar bank fee. Okay, so enter amount this. Enter that negative amount, that fifty dollars negative amount, the negative amount. You can see it's fifty dollars negative amount, and receive from. You don't have to do anything in there, but uh, it's basically it'd be like a bank, uh, bank account type. So right now I don't have the bank type in here, like bank account, bank name, or just bank, or bank fee. So I don't have it here, so. You have to do that from your uh, uh, browser. Okay, so I'm going to leave the receipt from blank. That's okay. And the account you want to select for this one is bank charges. All right, fifty dollars with bank charges. Okay, the rest you don't have to do it. Anything you can just say wire transfer. All right, wire transfer. I transfer. Okay, that's the charge fifty dollars. Bank bank charge fifty dollars on this one. And if you have a uh, uh, class, you can select that one. Just add it. Okay, so now as you can see here, uh, the deposit in this case is now it's seven thousand. Customer pays seventy fifty. Bank took out fifty dollars, and the total deposit amount is seven thousand. I'm going to save this. Okay, so I'm going to go to bank feed one more time. Okay, banking. So now, as you can see here, Chris Smith mass deposit seven thousand dollars. So just tap that one and accept it. The job is done. Okay. Do another one. Okay.
All right, so uh, so the bank fee matching task done with two scenarios. Okay, so now I'm going to do this manually without uh, any uh, um, bank fee connection. Okay, the process is still the same. Okay, let's see what's outstanding invoice left in this one. Okay, so I'm just going to do the bottom one, uh, Philip Jackson, 1000. Okay, so let's say you have uh, 1000 in here. So you want to receive payment on this one? Okay, so that's cool. So I'm going to start from the home page. Okay, home page. Okay, the customer is Philip Jackson. Okay, so this one is all manual. So if you're if you're not bank connected, this is how you have to do it. All right, this is straightforward. Let's say the payment date is March 31st, and it's the white check check number. Let's type something else. Okay, and done. So now we receive payment. Once you save it, okay, you save the payment. Now you go to the uh, bank deposit because now it's sitting in uh, uh, undeposited funds. You can you want to move from undeposited funds to your bank account. Select your existing payments and then tap that one. And if you are depositing this with other checks, then you have to select which you know which ones you are uh, uh, in your in your bad deposit and match with the deposit amount. Select that one. Okay, so I'm just going to save it. That's it. So this is how you have to do it manually. I've, you know, you've seen how to do it manually. You've seen how to do it uh, uh, to match the deposit don't match with the payment, the invoice amount. So we have seen various scenarios. All right, that's about it on this one and visit our website our website is right here i'm going to show you newkibio.com this is our kibio blog website okay newkibio.com and subscribe to our youtube channel